In this video, I will show you how I took this photo and turned it into this photo. Hey guys, welcome to the first of hopefully many editing walkthroughs where I'll show you guys exactly how I edit my photos completely from A to Z. Now, before we get into it, I wanna take a second and talk about some failed photos, some pictures that I think could have been better for various reasons, and I wanna talk about why I didn't like them and what I like about the one I ended up choosing to be the final picture. So this first one here, the only inherent problem that stands out to me is that it's midday sun, which is pretty boring. Sometimes you can get away with it depending on the situation. Now, this next photo was actually during sunset that night. And as you can see, we didn't really get much of a golden hour. If anything, it got more flat and even more boring than the midday sun. So I actually stayed the night up on the mountain and tried again the next morning, where as you can see, I got way better light. I'm much happier with this picture. The only thing I would change is maybe a little less clouds. I really like the low hanging clouds, but I think it's a little bit too much, but that's not really something I can change anyway. So I'll be happy with it. The problem with this picture that I didn't actually notice while I was even taking the photo is that the composition isn't really all that interesting. It's okay if it was the only picture I had of this location, I would have made it work. But looking back on it now, there's a lot of dead space here in the lower right that I don't like a whole lot. And the shape isn't really doing me any favors. It's not really pulling you into the image. You get a little bit, like you can see, I keep doing my cursor here. You get a little bit of kind of a swirling shape where the, the lake kind of pulls you up into the image. Now, in this photo, it's kind of hard to say just exactly what the subject is. Obviously, it would be the mountain as a whole, but that's kind of broad. I think specifically, my eyes tend to wander towards the mountain peaks, so I'm gonna assume that that's gonna be the subject of the image, or at least what I'm gonna edit for. And what I mean by that is that's where I'm gonna try to bring your eyes with the edit. It especially helps a little bit that the composition has the lake swirl up and give you a little bit of something to bring you into the image into the mountain peaks but again this composition isn't great in my opinion and i'll show you in the final photo why i thought that composition was a lot better okay so now i've opened it up in photoshop camera raw and as you can see, we've got a lot more going on on the left here. There's a lot less dead space in the lower right. You can see a bit more mountains and you get a lot more shape that actually brings you into the mountain peaks. Also, I just noticed, I think the mountain peaks are a little bit clearer. I think the clouds might've cleared up a bit by the time I took this photo. But anyway, I like this composition a lot more. Something else that's kind of cool is you get a little bit of highlights on the trees on the lower left, but it's not super distracting. So it's kind of nice, it just adds a little bit more drama to the image but yeah in my opinion this composition is much better it gives me a lot more to work with and it's just an overall more interesting photo so the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to try to balance the exposure and it's not going to be perfect yet there's going to be a lot of changes that i make by the end and i'm going to try to make this video as quick and concise as possible because editing a photo can drag on if i'm honest for hours of just changing little tiny details until you're happy with it that said i'm probably gonna go back and change little things here and there until the overall balance is something i'm happy with in my opinion there's not really an exact exact line from point A to point B of how you achieve the final edited picture. It's a lot of trial and error and a lot of playing around with it until you find something you like. So I'm probably going to end up doing a lot of that while editing this photo. Anyway, I'm going to start with getting the exposure right, bring down the highlights. And right now I'm pretty much just going off my, my histogram which on the right, if you're unfamiliar with the histogram, your highlights are on the right and your shadows are on the left. So for example, if the highlights are all the way up, you have that sharp line on the right. And that means as you can see, they're completely blown out and they are gone. So I'm gonna bring it down just until we have all our detail. So now, as you can see, pretty much all the highlights still exist and still have detail in the image. I think this spot here is still a little bit bright, but overall it looks okay. 
and the shadows where we started were a little bit crushed on the left. They weren't completely gone, but they were definitely too dark, so brought it up a bit here. I don't want to bring up the shadows too much because if you bring it up too much, you tend to lose a lot of the, the drama of the image. Like it just flattens out and it looks gray like that. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to play around with the crop a little bit. I think there's a bit of negative space up in the sky I don't really like. I think down here, there's a lot of boring stuff. The most boring part of the image I think is the lower left. It's pretty dead over there, so anything I can do to kind of cut that out or take interest away from it, I'm going to do. And I do think it's a little bit crooked. Maybe that's better. Yeah, okay. So for now, I'm happy with that, and I'm going to stick with that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is try and get the color temperature right. So to me, it looks really blue. And I really want these nice warm tones to stand out a bit more. So I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it a little bit warmer here. And I'm just trying to find a balance between bringing up the warm highlights, but not actually coloring the image, not making it yellow, still having like a, a clear balance between the blues and the highlights. And to be honest, I'm just kind of going by taste here. There's not really anything scientific about it. And I'm leaning towards a little bit more of a warm look. And overall, this is just the, the closest thing you can get to the uh, balance of the image as a whole. Because what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go in with the filters and we're gonna individually make certain areas warmer or uh, colder, which is gonna help create a bit of a balance to the image and it's gonna help bring your eyes into the subject a little bit better. And uh, anyway, speaking of filters, I think that's the next thing we'll do here is we'll darken up the sky a bit, which is something I almost always just automatically do since very rarely do you want your eyes wandering up into the edge of the sky up here. It tends to be kind of distracting and almost always if you're going to have problems with highlights, it's going to be in the sky. So a majority of the time you're going to want to darken up your sky at least a little bit. I tend to do it quite a lot just to give a bit more of a dramatic look and it also helps bring your eyes into the image a little bit more and makes the sky less uh, distracting. So that's pretty good. And the one thing that's standing out to me is I do think it's too warm. I don't really like the blue tone. So I am going to cool down the sky a little bit and maybe even add a little bit of magenta here just to get maybe more of a, a pure blue color in the sky. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. And then while I'm on the uh, gradient filter, I'm gonna also just darken up the bottom a little bit. That's too much. And I'm okay with it being a little bit colder down there too. Maybe not so much. I might even add a little bit of green just to try to make the green of the, the trees pop out a little bit more. And it, it might seem like these changes we're making are, are very tiny, are very minuscule, but it's all these tiny changes that really add up to creating a good image overall. So that's looking pretty decent to me. I think the next thing I'm gonna to try to do is really get this area to stand out. It's seriously hazy, and I would love to be able to see some more detail. So the obvious thing to do is gonna to be to dehaze it a little bit. You wanna be careful with the dehaze tool because you can overdo it very, very easily and it'll crush your blacks and it'll bring in a ton of saturation out of nowhere. So you really wanna be careful with that, but I think as hazy as it is, we can get away with at least a little bit. And clarity, as you can see, is definitely gonna be our friend here. So that's already looking a lot better. I also think I'm gonna warm this area up a little bit because I really want your eyes to come into this part of the image and really see the mountains. And if the rest of the image is slightly cooler than the mountains, your eyes are really gonna go there naturally. Plus, I really like these warm highlights and I want them to stand out even more. So maybe even a little bit warmer, bring in the green tones just a little bit. There's a lot of nice green in the trees there. So that's looking pretty decent. And of course, something you can always do just to see if you're pushing it too far or what you're doing is to just bring away your filter, bring it back real quick. So it gives you an idea, you can see the edges. For example, I think maybe I'm even gonna broaden it up just a little bit. 
maybe bring it away a little bit from the sky, but that's looking pretty good. Uh, one more thing I'm gonna do to that filter, now that I've thought about it, is add some actual sharpness too, just a little bit. And I'm also gonna bring up the saturation just a little bit. I'm gonna try to get it standing out already. So that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna add another filter just to the mountain peaks because I really want this area to stand out. And I'm gonna try not to overdo this. I might overdo it a little bit and have to come back and play with it, but that's okay because it's all about experimenting. It's all about finding what works. If you have any kind of theory that might make your image look better, never be afraid to try it because you never know. It might completely fail or you might learn something new and it might make your image 10 times better, but you don't know until you try. So I'm gonna try to Try to bring up this area quite a bit. Even make it a little bit warmer because a lot of the blues are really starting to come out in the shadows and I don't want them to come out too much here. That's pretty decent. Maybe even some more sharpness, some more saturation. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Okay, so moving on real quick, the image is looking a little bit dark to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and brighten it up a little bit here. And to be honest, overall, it's still looking a little bit cold to me. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more warmth. And doing that, I warmed up the sky a little too much. It's always a balance. That's why you're always kind of jumping around. That's why there's not really such an easy path from, from A to Z, in my opinion. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Now, something I'm gonna do is figure out what to do over here. I'm not exactly sure because I think the clouds look a little too warm. I don't really like the color balance, but if I add too much blue, this area is just gonna be grossly over blued. So I'm gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna bring in a bit of blue and that's okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna make it bluer and then I think I'm gonna desaturate. Yeah, just like that. That's pretty decent. Now let's see, is it worth really bringing in detail? Yeah, I think a little bit. I think there's something to pull out of that. It's kind of a mess over there, so it's hard to say exactly, exactly what to do about it, but I think that's already a little bit better. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a little bit better, I think. So I really just ended up adding some detail with clarity. I made it a bit bluer. I threw in a little bit of magenta so we don't get too much of that kind of ugly green blue that was starting to go on over there. And yeah, I like it. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is try to get this lake to stand out a little bit because it's just a super, super pretty lake and it's really one of the unique parts of this image. As, as you can see, that's just how it is. It's a turquoise colored, almost glowing like lake. It's really interesting. So I definitely want it to stand out and I definitely want it to catch your eye. So I'm already just gonna brighten it up a little bit, add a bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity just to make it pop in general. Go ahead and add a bit of saturation. Not too much. I mean, it, it all comes down to taste. Obviously, if you really want to, you can push it a lot further than I am, depending on just what you want to do. But I think it's very easy to overdo these colorful lakes. There's a lot of pictures out there where people have just pushed the saturation of these things to the moon. And again, it's personal taste. If you like that, then you like that. But personally, I'd rather keep more of a natural look to it. So really, I'm just trying to emphasize it while not overdoing it. And I might already be leaning towards overdoing it. Plus, I think it leans a little green, so I'm gonna throw in some magenta and some blue. That's pretty decent. I, I still think that's looking pretty natural for the most part. For how extreme of a change that is, I'm surprised it looks so natural in the image, actually. But I'll take it. Maybe a little more clarity. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna do something similar. As you can see, it's not really working quite as well over here. Hmm, maybe I won't. 
Well, I'll at least try to make it pop a little bit over here, but I'm definitely gonna back it off. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. Okay, I'm good with it. Now, the next thing that's standing out to me is the highlights by the mountains and the clouds over here. They're technically apparently not crushed because we didn't lose them on the histogram, but they stand out to me and they're kind of distracting. So I'm gonna bring them back a little bit and I'm gonna add a bit of blue because I think they're really yellow looking. I'm not a big fan of just how yellow they are. Okay, that's already a lot better. And maybe it's a little early to get so detail specific, but I'm gonna do the same thing with this cloud. It looks a little yellow to me and I'm not a big fan of that. And it's a little bit bright here. Okay, so now I think the overall image is moving in a way I really wanted to. I'm gonna start getting a little more detailed. So something I'm gonna do is bring up the vibrance, probably too much, I would say that's too much, but it really gives you an idea of what's going on in the overall picture. And I think it's still a little too blue. So I'm gonna make it even a bit warmer here. And again, I think this is way too much vibrance. I wouldn't make this personally my final image. It looks kind of really cheesy in my opinion, but again, it gives you an idea of exactly what's going on so that you can focus on the details. For example, the blues stand out to me way too much. So I'm gonna back off the entirety of the blues of the whole image. And I think, I think the aquas are doing okay, but I'm gonna see what happens if I bring it one way or the other. So I'm, I'm in the hue, by the way, and I'm just seeing if maybe if I bring the aquas a little more towards purple, if it pops a little more, I definitely don't want it greener, but I am thinking that adding some magenta to the aquas is actually good. Yeah, I am liking that. And I'm going to darken the, the blues of the entire image just a little bit. This is something pretty easy to overdo. Obviously, that's way too much. But even something like that, I think, is already looking a little fake. But if you do it just a little bit, it adds a little bit more depth, a little bit more detail to the image as a whole, I think. It darkens down the sky a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm good with that. Back off on the vibrance. We have a bit more of a natural look. We can see what's going on here. Okay, it's pretty decent, pretty decent. Maybe I made it just a touch too warm. I'm gonna back off on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and darken up this part of the sky even more with a, with a radial filter. I still think it's a little bit distracting up there. That's already a lot better. Now this part of the image is definitely looking too bright to me. So I'm gonna darken up that whole area and make it even a little bit colder. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better, I think. And um, maybe even do a little bit over here. That's definitely too much. Just kind of creating an overall vignette just to, just to help bring your eyes subtly more into the middle of the image. And this area to me now, I wanna do something about it, but I'm not entirely sure what. I feel like it's looking a little bit too cold. So I would like to make it a bit warmer yeah, yeah, that worked out pretty well, I think. I wasn't sure because I'm adding so much warm tones to the image that you start to lose it and it starts to just kind of look yellow after a while, but I think that worked here. It adds a little bit of drama and also I'm darkening it a little bit on accident. But I'm gonna bring up the highlights just a touch, maybe. Yeah, I'll bring up the highlights just a touch. Then I'll bring down the shadows because overall I do want this area less distracting, but I do want it to help me in some way. As in like I want it to be pretty. I want it to add to the overall feeling of the scene. So I think that's doing it for me. Now, at this point, I think the individual parts of the image are pretty decent. Nothing really stands out to me as something I want to change, but I think the overall picture could use some work. It still looks a little bit flat to me. So I'm going to brighten up the, the entire image just a little bit here so it's not quite so dark. I'm going to add a bit of contrast. I'm going to add some clarity to the entire image. I think I made it a little too bright. And I think, I think the sky is a little bit too bright. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. 
And I think it's looking a little bit hazy. There's still too much blue for me, so I'm gonna desaturate the blue a little bit more. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a lot better. And I'm not sure if the mountain peaks are sticking out quite enough for me. So I'm gonna bring up the highlights. I'm really gonna try to make them pop, really try to make them visible. Even a little bit more clarity, even a little bit more highlights, maybe too much warm tones. So that's looking pretty good to me. Um, I might add a little bit more saturation. I might make this area, yeah, I'll add a little bit more clarity, a little bit more dehazing. And this area here, obviously that's way too much, but I'll go ahead and I'll add a little bit of clarity right through there too. Mm, maybe I overdid it a little bit, let me back off here. Too much dehazing. But anyway, I'll add a bit of clarity in here because it's still a little hazy to me, a little ugly. Yeah, that's pretty good. And something I like to do when I get to this point in the image where I'm pretty sure it's looking good is I like to make it very small, in this case 12%, even 6%, just because it makes things really stand out. Like for example, you might notice this area is really, really dark, or you might notice that the image as a whole is a little too saturated. I think it's looking pretty okay. I think it's leaning a little bit towards a fake look. I don't think it looks all that natural. I think I can make it look a lot more natural by backing off on the uh, vibrance and the overall clarity, which gives it kind of a more grounded look. But personally, I like to push my photos towards the edge of where realism and stylism kind of meet. I'm a big fan of a lot of color and a lot of depth and a lot of kick to the image. I like it to catch your eye, but I also don't like it to look too fake. So that's usually a balance I try to find. And I think it's for the most part, pretty much there. It still looks natural. I think the greens are really saturated. Honestly, I might desaturate this area just a little bit. I think that's a bit more, a bit more natural. Plus, when it's a little less saturated, it tends to bring your eyes more towards the subject and less towards these unimportant areas. Okay, so it's been about two days since where we left off in the video, and in that time, I've just made small adjustments. I've looked at the photo on my phone screen and on other monitors just to get an idea. I've put it side by side with other photos that I like the edit of, just to see really if there's any overall issues, since every photo is going to look different from another photo, so you're never going to have an exact replica. But it's nice to put them side by side so you can see if there's some kind of overall overall issue with exposure or contrast that you didn't pick up on before. And anyway, in that time, I've made some small changes that I want to talk about real quick. And I also just wanted to say, I think it's very unreasonable to assume that you're going to be able to just sit down and get a photo edited in 20 minutes and just be happy with how it turned out for however long afterwards. It takes a lot of small detail changes over time and you're going to have to walk away and you're going to have to come back and see what stands out to you and you're gonna change your mind a couple of times and this is all pretty normal anyway it's been about two days and this right here is the photo where we left off now in hindsight I think the blues were just too much they were oversaturated I think there's a bit too much contrast and I think this area is a little bit too bright I also think it's a little too dark over here and overall it just looked a little less natural than I would have liked so with that said I ended up changing it into this Right off the bat, it's definitely grayer, it's definitely flatter, which is something I actually like because I think it makes it look a bit more natural. And the first thing I'll talk about is I played around with the filters a bit over here. Uh, this one in particular, I didn't really like the hard line that we were getting. See that very, very hard line that kind of looks out of place? I didn't really do anything to make it stand out. I added some clarity that might have carried over, but I have to say, looking back, I'm not a big fan of that. It looks very digital and very fake. So what I did was I put in a filter here and I dehazed. I brought back the clarity and I brought back the texture. And 
I didn't bring back the sharpness, so I only did that, and I'm a pretty big fan of that look. I think it looks more natural, I think it blends in a bit better. I uh, brought down the clarity in this area. I kind of added to the overall hazy look because I think it makes the subject stand out a little bit better. And through here, I ended up taking away the clarity that I added and I actually ended up backing off on the clarity. Just because again, I thought it was a little too digital. It probably helped create that ugly line that I didn't really like. Now something I did do is I added clarity in this area here to try to get these mountain peaks to, to pop a little bit. Cause I think they're pretty cool. And I think they were blending into just looking like clouds, but I think it's pretty unique and it really shows just how impressive this mountain range is. So I brought up the mountain peaks just a little bit and I did the same thing through here. As you can see, I added just a little bit of clarity. Something else I did is I actually decided to go in and bring up the greens and yellows and oranges a little bit just to try to help make these highlights pop. And I kept the blue saturation low, which is actually a little bit higher than it was before. But since I went in with these filters and I really desaturated these areas a bit, it ended up bringing down a lot of the blue tones that I didn't like. So I didn't actually have to hold back so much on the blue tones. Now, the other big things I did was I darkened this area a little bit and I ended up making it color temperature neutral. Uh, before I had it a little bit warm because I wanted to bring up the highlights, but in the end it just kind of ended up distracting and it kind of flattened the image. So what I did was I just darkened it and I made it color temperature neutral, which gave it a colder look overall. And in the corner here, what I did is I actually brought up the shadows because there was just so much contrast with how much darker than the rest of the image it was here that I think it was actually pulling your attention over here since contrast has a way of really pulling your attention towards something. Something else I did is I also brought the crop back a little bit. It was a bit tighter. I had it cut off more down here. As you can see, I cut it off just above these clouds here and I cut it off just before this branch sticking up here. I decided to bring it back a little bit just because I think it gives it a little bit more depth and when you can see the whole scene and seeing a bit more of the foreground, I think helps show the scale a little bit better. A problem I ran into is that this part of the tree is just so ridiculously bright and stands out and I don't usually like editing very small details of a landscape photo or a nature photo because I think it starts to make it look very fake and very unnatural. But in this case, I felt like it was okay because it's just, I keep using the word distracting, but really it's, it's very distracting, just that random highlight down in the corner there. So I brought that down a little bit. I darkened it, brought back the clarity, uh, brought way down the saturation since uh, darkening it was bringing up the saturation. So in the end, that's it. I'm pretty happy with the final image. Again, I think this one's a bit too much, especially going back and forth to it right now. I think it's a little bit cheesy. In general, I have a tendency to over edit and I've noticed I usually have to go back and bring things a little bit more down to earth. And I think this is a bit too much, but after taking a bit of time and uh, really dialing it in, I'm pretty happy with this. And I think this is gonna be the final image. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it was at least entertaining or as entertaining as a 30 minute video can possibly be. And again, I hope this is the first of many videos and I hope to see your views on many more videos to come. Thank you.